Hey y'all. Okay. Um, I'm here with a new unboxing. So somebody had recommended the pastry shops, pastry quilt shop or pastry shop quilts. And I literally ordered this Thursday. It shipped out yesterday afternoon. I already have it today, but come to find out they're in Granberry. So they're not too far from me. Um, so I'm excited. So this is my very first unboxing for them. I'm excited to see what I, I know like the fabric that's in there, but I'm excited to see what else is in there. Box of treats, pastry shop quilts. Happy sewing. Oh, this is so cute. So like I said, I'm trying a different subscription besides Sew Sampler because there is so many on there. And I've been doing it for four years. So I kind of want to try something new. Oh, I got Schmuckers. Grape jelly. Oh, okay. So it says treat box number 20, jelly, jam, and stars. In the heart, or in the, yeah, in the heart of the summer when the berries are lush, Fig Tree's jelly and jam collection hits the spot. The quilt takes a lot of fabric, so your box is brimming with summer sweet colors in traditional fig tree fashion. I chose to use Islet 204884 by Fig Tree, but any creamy beige print will work. I originally used the Bella White, and it was too stark, so I recommended more of a beige background. So to add color and fun to your box, a glass metal gl uh, clasp jar filled, well, it's actually a jelly jar filled with colorful clips is included. These are my favorite tool in my sewing room and now use them exclusively for piecing. There are six uh, different colored glass tops. Hope you get a color you love. An orange spool of silk finished thread is also included to use for your quilt. Um, to add to your box for another fun project, 30's Playtime by Lindsay McRae brings a, a colorful array of nostalgic prints. And for a sweet treat, there's a little jelly and a little jam to sweeten your morning toast. I hope you enjoy this midsummer time box and always or find ways to stay cool and beat the heat. Happy sewing, Sherry. That is so sweet. So yeah, there's jelly and jam, blackberry jam and grape jelly. Oh, I love blackberry. Actually, I actually have blackberry in there in the thing. Okay, so our pattern, I'm making this. It's a 64 by 64 and it is called Jelly Jam and Stars. Um, it says you need 32 10 inch squares for piecing, 5 eighths of a yard of fabric, 4 and a quarter yards of background fabric, 7 binding strips, and 4 yards of background, or of, uh, yeah, back, backing fabric. Okay, so here is our 30s playtime. And as you know, I'm collecting these little mini charm packs because I'm going to make a quilt with all my different kinds of charm packs or mini charms. So I have that. The cute little jar with clips. I like this little jar. It's cute. The th really pretty thread. The eyelet. This beautiful orange. And I guess is this. Hold on. Let me see something. Honestly, because it says you need 32 10 inch squares for piecing. Okay, so from the coral, from the multicolored. So, do they cut, are these cut to five inches? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, they're okay. So, I guess what they did is they cut the, them in half. So there's this print. This print. This print. That real pretty print there. I've not seen that one yet. It's pretty. I love the eyelet. 
that's what it looks that's the color it is there i love this color i love the pastel centers this real pretty fabric but this is what the color yeah there that's the color it's really pretty gingham I love this fabric too. It's the one with like the little berries. The red. This eyelet. I'm hot. I've been having to, um, I've been watering plants since about 7 something this morning. All my rose bushes and my fruit trees and everything look like they're about to die because of the no rain and it's so hot. So my peach and plum trees, I've been, I've been doing them for 45 minutes on a low trickle to give them a nice good uh, soaking. And I'm on my, finally my last one. It is hot out there though. This is such a pretty fabric. I should have counted these to see. Okay, this is in one piece. So I guess what they did, they cut this on the yardage. They cut it from yardage. Instead of doing the squares, they did the yardage. So I will have three quilts with the jelly and jam because I'm doing the one the so long for strawberry gardens and then the one for my so sampler box and now this one I'm making this one I love it and I actually have um yardage I don't know I gotta see if it'll look good the white it's not like a white it's more of a I, I want to say it's got a hint of a more of a cream I need to see if it'll look good with this because if so then all I have is I, I can use that one good grief this box is worth it just because of the fabric it's almost a whole layer cake and those layer cakes are like 40 about 40 dollars or more 40 45 the eyelet for that one I haven't seen this one yet this is pretty and my ground love greens the green gingham I love this. I think it's so I actually have this for the border for my quilt that I'm going to do from um, Missouri or from Missouri from uh, so sample. Let's see how many I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Yep. Okay. So they gave me all 32. Of, it says uh, 10 inch, 10 and a half inch squares, but um, they did theirs five inch by 10 and a half inch um, strips. So, because I mean, you're going to cut them down anyways, it says. Yeah. So, um, wow. Not including, they gave me, how much is that? I don't know how much. 
from the coral pin dot. That's okay. So that must be the border. Five eighths of a yard. Cut remaining fabric in half on the fold. Okay, add one of the halves to the multicolored prints. So I wonder if that's the binding too. Well, no, one, two and a half inch. No, never mind. So yeah, um, and this beautiful, I love this fabric here. So my goodness, it's a little bit more than the sew sampler, but the amount of fabric you get in here, I mean, that's a lot of fabric and this is new fabric and y'all know it's not cheap. So I'm happy with the box. It's not so much of the, um, I love the little, the little pluses. I love the little, I love it because jelly and jam. That's cute. I like that. And I love, y'all know I love clips. I have broke so many of these. I had some ones, they were cheaper from the ones that I found. And so I broke a lot of them. So I'm glad I have a few more to replace because y'all know right there, my little strawberry, little ba berry basket there. These will go in there. Um, but I love my little jar. So, in the beautiful thread. I love having thread like this because I'll use this probably. If I can, I may try to find this as the binding since this is going to be a border. If I don't have enough of this, I may order more and use this as the binding also because then I can use that thread. I love, that's a really pretty thread. So, and of course, this is going to go in with all my other little charm packs, my little mini charms because I'm doing a quilt and nothing but these. I think it's going to be like an Irish chain. But it's going to be a very scrappy Irish chain, and it's going to have all different, I mean, it'll have Halloween and Christmas, and it's going to have all different kinds. Um, that way it can be one of those fun quilts to where you can kind of see. So I'm very happy with my pastry shop quilts um, box. I, I just, and I'll link them down in the description box. If you haven't yet, and they, like, they ship out every six weeks instead of every month, which it's kind of good for me because it's, it spreads it out just a little bit more instead of every month. Because with my uh, sew sampler box, I want to say it was it was close to 40 with shipping and handling and all this. And this is a little bit more than that, but the amount of fabric. I don't need as many notions anymore because I have so many. And I'm just, some of them go on you. So I like a box where I get more fabric. So I love this. So thank you so much to the pastry, of course, but the pastry shop quilts y'all did amazing i love this so um anyways I, okay i also wanted to update y'all and it come in this cute little packaging i love it i love packaging i think it's to me that really can make a you know a thing okay let me throw all this away okay so for sorry y'all the stuff's falling um Okay, so update on my little thing that I told y'all I'm wanting to do for y'all. a um, The little series I'm about to start. I actually got my order in from Amazon. And I'll give y'all a little hint. Nothing like special, but I got some elastic. And then I got, I got some um, bias tape. So I'm doing this. It's got three, six, nine. But... Um, I'm doing one way with bias tape and one way without bias tape. So y'all have to wait and see. I'm going to probably work. I've got some stuff. So if y'all saw my video, um, I was doing some, my live in my video yesterday, I was doing some cleaning out. Um, I did use, I may go, I'm probably gonna go to the dollar store this evening. I got to run by there. Um, after I take my daughter to her friend's house. But I think I'm going to run by there and maybe get some more of these because these are my last ones. These are just odd and in fat quarters here. There's like the wovens and linens and then other um, little cotton. And then I have these um, 
what did they call it? Reproductions, Moda Reproductions. I love the blacks and grays. It's actually more of like a, it's got a little bit of a brown in it. It's really weird looking. It's real pretty. And then some more low volumes. So I did, you can see a couple right there where I have them stacked up. That little red box there is where my little pullout box that I used. Uh, it's from Lori Holt. But I actually have like uh, patterns for like aprons and dresses and stuff like that. Those fit perfectly in that little red box right there. So I'm going to get some more of these. Um, because they fit really well. I'm about to get my headaches finally starting to feel better. So I'm going to start kind of um, going through my fabric more and unloading some of these so I can put them up. Um, because with some of these projects I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using my stash. Um, one good thing about the um, mystery into the bolt boxes, I'll be able to use some of that. So I'm not buying any new fabric unless I need bigger pieces. But I don't see that really happening. So everything that I'm going to be doing in this series, I'm actually going to be using my stash. I may have to get like a little audit in stuff like this. But if I can't find it in store, then I will link everything in um, Amazon or my the links down below. I'm going to try to set up an Amazon um, storefront type thing where you can shop and then I can earn. I guess I don't know. I guess it's like earn free stuff or. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to look into that. I could think I signed up for the wrong one because it was going to have to make me pay like almost $40 a month. I think it was the wrong one. So I got to figure out which I think it's, I think Donna had told me because <clears throat> I was trying to look and I guess I did the wrong one. I was telling her and then I went to walk and she started looking into it for me. And I think it's affiliate link that I need. So anyways, um, but anything that I have to buy, I'm going to try to buy on Amazon and I will link everything down in my description for y'all, but I will not buy, be buying any fabric. Everything that I'm going to be using is going to be what is in my stash um, because I do need to use my stash up. Everything that I'm going to be making is going to be stuff that you can either give as gifts or use around the house. I'm also going to try to repurpose um, some old things, some like towels that have holes in them and stuff. So everything that I'm doing is not going to be expensive projects. They're going to be some that you can sit down and make in 30 minutes or a few hours. Just I'll, I'll, What I'll do is I'm going to time myself and see how long it takes me. And that way I can kind of let y'all know about how long it will take y'all. These are going to be fun, quick, easy things. And I'm excited to do this. Something new. Something that besides, I mean, I'm still going to be sewing my quilts. But it's going to be something, you know, a little bit different than what I see all the time. And I'm sure there's these videos out there. I just see a lot of quilting videos. And I kind of want to be a little, it's me. I want to be different. <laughs> so um, I like being a little different. But um Anyways, so um, I'm probably going to be, after I clear out some of this stuff and make room, I'm going to work on a couple of these so I have samples to show y'all. I'm excited about these. Um, and once I get them done, I will post them. I'm thinking, I'm, I may try to do Sundays or Mondays, I'm thinking. Maybe not. I don't know. I'll let y'all know for sure. It just kind of depends because whatever day I choose, I want it to be on that day every time. So that way y'all know, okay, she's going to have a new video up. Let's see what it is. Um, Cause I like, I like that. Like with Missouri star every Friday, they have either, either the triple play or a new blanket or the new quilt top they're doing a new project. And I like knowing that, okay, they're going to have something new on Fridays. I won't do Fridays. It'll be sometime. It'll be sometime in the week. So, um, y'all will get a heads up on that. Um, it, it may be like, Hey, um, like I may post something like a picture, like the new project series video is up, or I'll be posting on this day at, you know, so no telling what time I'll get it up, but, um, it will be posted on that day. Can, the times will vary, but it'll be for sure a certain day. So anyways, um, I will probably do a little video after I get some more organization done to show y'all. This closet looks so much better. My big tote will fit perfectly with my quilt kits down there. So all I have to do is open the top and grab them out. The only homeschool stuff I have in there is like pens, expo markers, permanent markers, pencils, notepads, paint, stuff like that that I can't put in there. They're all in. It looks so much better. So the majority of the stuff in there is my sewing so far. I got books in the very top, but they look really nice. Um, my sister, I have a big old pile of homeschool stuff that I'm going to be giving her. If she don't want it, then I'm going to pass along to the homeschool group for all the different families to divvy up. So, um, 
I dreaded doing that, going through that closet, but that's why, because I knew I had so much stuff piled in there. But um, it looks so much better. Now to get all of this organized. Um, I may too, when I go to the dollar store later, I may get something to go up underneath this to put my works in progress in my yardage. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I've got some things that I'm just excited of what's I'm finally getting going. So anyways, I hope y'all like the pastry, um, pastry shop quilt box. I am very, very happy with it. And I actually can't wait to start working on this. I got to add this over here to my pile so I can start working. I'll probably be doing some of this simultaneously. I'm, I'm going to try to also, after um, I do some of this, work on my other garden block recording. And I've got a lot of sewing that I want to do today. I would have been doing it more, but from everything that I did in here yesterday, my neck, I couldn't, it woke me up last night with my neck and my head hurting so bad. And it's finally eased up enough to where I can get back in here and get busy. So I'm excited and I hope y'all are looking forward to it. I know I ramble. I just, I'm excited and I can't wait to show y'all everything that I have in here. Donna kind of knows because I was so excited. I was texting her and um, she was even kind of giving me little ideas too. And um, I like to bounce ideas off her because I get so scrambled and she can kind of help work them out a little bit. So, um, anyways, I'm excited and I hope y'all enjoy this new series. Like I said, I'm still doing all my quilting and all my blocks of the month. And I, I'm so excited about the new, um, the new box that I'm going to be doing. So anyways, y'all have a wonderful Saturday and hopefully I will see y'all soon. Bye y'all.